Once upon a time, a world without language, spoken words were not a human business. But one day, they started naming things as they sounded, and that's how the first human words were created. This is what we call the Ding Dong Hypothesis. This theory of language says that everything has a particular sound. For example, when something crashes, there's a sound that we connect with this, like crash or boom when something explodes. Cough, cough, cough. Hmm? Did he say cough? Cough? Oh, so this is coughing. I'm sorry. Was it that a knock? Knock knock. Oh, so that is knocking. By the way, how would we say love according to the Ding Dong hypothesis? And how will we name a rock as a rock according to the Ding Dong hypothesis? I think we are in trouble. of why the Ding Dong hypothesis is a very limited hypothesis. The Ding Dong hypothesis makes reference to the objects and their sounds, the natural phenomena and their sounds. According to this hypothesis, we couldn't name silent objects and we couldn't name abstract nouns. That's why the Ding Dong hypothesis doesn't work as a real hypothesis. The negative part of this theory is that it doesn't explain the origin of grammar or syntax. On the other hand, this theory doesn't work for blind or deaf people because they don't see the image that the sound represents or they don't hear the sound. Contrast with other hypotheses. As we already said, Ding Dong theories is based on what things sound like, on onomatopoeia. The idea states that language began when humans started naming objects after a relevant sound that was already involved in their everyday life. Very different, Poo Poo theory focuses on spontaneous interactional sounds of human speech. Through emotional response, language and speech will have developed in thunder with human interaction and primitive emotional reactions. Bon Wow focus on imitation. It is said that language comes from imitation of animal sound. And Tata by other way, the Tata hypothesis states that language and development of sounds was generated to support the hand, gestures and movements of the individual.